What's going on everyone? Today I figured we'd uh, kind of get an update on the fish room and how my progress is going. My kids are out at the strawberry festival with my wife so it's a perfect time to start doing some extra work here in the fish room. So uh, let me show you what we got going on. Of course things are still a mess. Uh, it's fish room in progress so every time I clean it up I end up putting more stuff out. Got my cup of joe here, my morning coffee because yeah, I need some of that energy. But over here, of course, we still got our 75 gallon. Fish are doing nice and good. They are ready to eat. Let me go ahead and feed them real quick before I forget. All right. Time to eat, guys. Why is it when every time someone videos, they always end up feeding more than they usually do. That's exactly what just happened to me. I'm like, man, I don't normally feed that much. All right. So this 75, I don't know, I might, I might move it actually, you know, I got a, I don't know, I got an idea, you know, where I'm thinking about actually utilizing this space for something else, like maybe a larger tank, like maybe doing my own DIY tank, uh, like a plywood tank or something, you know, like I can make it my own custom size. Um, but yeah, so there's a 125 and a 75. I'm thinking they may be putting them both to the opposite side of the garage, closer to the garage door. It would be a lot of work, but yeah, I don't know. You know, you have visions. We'll see, we'll see how it works out. I got a bunch of tanks here that I still haven't set up. A bunch of tens. I got a low boy down there that needs to be cleaned out. I used to have that outside. Uh, I kept these bins. This, we had an old fridge and um, kept these uh, bins because they'll hold water if I ever need like a temporary holding space for some fish or something. So I figured why not. Uh, over here I got a water purification system set up um, or water filtration system for the whole house. Uh, I found out that it won't work for the fish room for an auto water chain system just like this because we actually have chloramines here in my area of Florida and the system will take out the chlorines, but if I want to take chloramines out, I'm gonna to have to get a really expensive uh, filter cartridge in there, and I don't want to spend the money on that. Uh, so I might have to set up a holding tank somewhere to see if that will remove the chloramines and just treat it with something like a prime or a safe, of course. I also didn't quite build this exactly how I wanted to. Um, I need to update it a little bit. I need to pass through. Pass through is essentially our bypass is a, essentially another pipe that would come around it and feed into the main house system. Just in case I have a problem with this system, I could close it off and still feed the house with water and everything. So that's where that's at. And then I did get my utility sink finally installed. You can see I got a hose there. I've been using that for water changes and such. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple utility sink with a dual little spigot hit on here so I can use this directly off of that, and I just keep that connected. Um, oops. I did have to connect, I did have to put a hole in the wall here to, to put my drainage, which is great because now I can connect my drain for all my fish tanks now, and uh, those could overflow to the outside of the house. And I'll show you what that kind of looks like outside in a minute here. Then we got, of course, our first rack here, the 20 gallon long rack. Uh, I got a couple tanks set up. Uh, a couple in progress and a couple that are still empty. Uh, I did get the drain system kind of set up. Well, let's see, I got my my uh, <laughs> my plugs here. I didn't really, not too crazy about that, but uh, I think that's where that's going to go for now. And you can see, got a bunch of different types of plugs here. Um, I did buy a bunch of lights, different lights. So I will do a dedicated video on the different types of lights and what I think of each one of them. You know, there are a lot of the budget lights that you find on Amazon and such. I got a couple more I need to buy before I make that video, but yeah, I'll make more dedicated videos on a lot of this stuff. In the back here, you can see I got my uh, drain system plumbed in. So you got your overflow, your bulkhead, and your 90 degree elbow to your vinyl tubing which will go into the pipe in the back. And that pipe will just drain down the back of the stand. Currently, there's nothing connected, but right now the plan is to put this one and a half inch 
on the back here and then connect this drain to that one and a half inch that will then go to that drain and then to outside, right? Pretty simple concept and I think we've all, all seen it before. So that's what that's at. Um, you can see these buckets perfectly fit under here. So that's perfect for storage. You know, I put like our rocks in there or um, in the fish room, we always need buckets. So it's good to have buckets around. Then we got, uh, I still got some wood here. I'm in the progress of building my next rack for the tens. I need to go ahead and get that done. So, you know what, let me go ahead and get that done and I'll, I'll come back and chime in with you guys. So bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, we are in business with another rack. That'll dry off and then I'll put it back in the garage. Um, oh, I'm supposed to show the drain on the outside. So this is the utility sink drain. Simple, just PVC pipe that comes out. And I put some gravel there so it doesn't uh, but it prevent erosion as much as I can. And uh, yeah, it's just a end cap on the end with some uh, some little holes in there. I also took advantage of, you guessed it, some more dollar per gallon sales at the Petco. We got a couple 40 gallon breeders here, so I could get the exact sizes of that, as well as, you know, I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna stock it with. I don't know, maybe some rainbows, angels, you know, lots of options. Also need to get a few of these pre-cycled, these sponge filters, these aqua tops. Um, use these for the 10 gallons tanks. Um, so yeah, just take them out. Give them a quick rinse and then I'm gonna throw them in the sump and that'll have them filtered for me. Filtered. That'll get them cycled for me. That's what I meant to say. That'll get them cycled for me so that I could just have my 10 gallons ready to go, at least a few of them. Uh, I believe it's just empties out here. A little bit of drama going on here. I don't know what's wrong with this angel. Something spooked her. Oh, now they're all getting spooked. I had an angel once. They got so spooked, we ran into the, 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 the back of the tank, knocked itself out, it was just sitting there upside down. I thought it was dead. Stuck my hand in there, that thing woke up. she blows also pick myself up a brine shrimp net because I will be trying some brine shrimp pick some up from brine shrimp direct see how they are some great A's quite a bit in there so I don't know we'll have to make a uh, DIY brine shrimp, ha brine shrimp hatchery um, then I also got this killy feast jeez can't talk Killy feast food. Um, it's a small, small granule, and uh, yeah, we'll have to test it out and see how it goes. Uh, I've been on a killy, jeez, almost said killy feast, on a killy fish kick lately, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious how much they like these, and yeah, hope to be picking up some killy fish here shortly. And then uh, I also got some free stuff here. Check out that five percent discount code. Bam, take that cool color so a couple free samples in there so that's cool to have check them out and over here we have my garage door insulation i'm ready to insulate my garage door oh do we doing a dedicated video on how to do that um i do have something that's gonna slow me down i do have these bars on here and uh yeah those uh those bars aren't always on every garage door i think those that's probably something that's fairly new for Florida building code. Well, when I say fairly new, I mean probably like 20 years, you know? Um, for Florida building code, due to hurricanes, you know, they want to try to reinforce the, oh, four by four. And uh, yeah, so they want to try to reduce hurricane damage by reinforcing these garage doors because this could be some of the weakest points in the house. So, just like that, we got two racks down, decided to be done with that, and uh, loving to see the progress in the fish room, right? Uh, still got lots of stuff to do, insulation, plumbing, 
uh, figure out how to get these chloramines out of my water. Stuff like that. Um, so, that's stuff. But I'm gonna take my time, do it step by step, enjoy myself. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, but I gotta wrap this one up. I'm gonna go get ready for a fish club meeting tomorrow. I gotta figure out what plants I'm gonna sell and stuff like that there. And uh, Aqua Funk will be there. Uh, Lucky Schmucks will be there. The name drop a couple people. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna have a talk from Mr. Rusty Wessel himself. So I'm really excited about that. I've seen his uh, fish room tour from uh, Rachel Leary and uh, Aquarium Co-op. And uh, yeah, this guy's got a lot of experience and it's gonna be a cool talk. So excited about that. Um, I think that pretty much covers the video for today. And uh, until next time, see you.